Hey guys, it's me, Paddy, and this is the brand new gaming channel here on YouTube known as Paddy D Gaming. I'm starting an MLB 12 The Show Road to the Show series featuring the switch hitting center fielder known as Roller Blade. As you can see by the sliders here, he's a guy that can get the bat on the ball, he's a guy that can get the glove on the ball, but he is mostly known for that tremendous speed of his as he can definitely skate down those lines. Unfortunately though he's not known much for his power. I'm going to be making lots of MLB 12 The Show videos or MLB The Show videos in general because that is one of the main purposes of my channel but I'm going to be doing lots of other stuff. Uh, be sure to check out the intro video that's coming out later today for more on that. Well while the creation's going on as you can see for yourself it takes quite a while so I'm just going to go on on a bit of a rant about baseball. In general current affairs kind of stuff. Well, I think not many people can stick their hand up and say, well, I thought the Baltimore Orioles by the end of May were going to lead the AL East comfortably. I mean, it's absolutely crazy going out in the AL East at the moment. I mean, as of now, which is May 23rd, it's Baltimore on the top, the Baltimore Orioles, followed by the Tampa Bay Rays, who are two games back, then Toronto, then New York, and Boston, which are tied at the bottom. I, I don't know how anybody expected that. These two big superpowers, you know, everybody was expecting these two to be amazing, especially the Yankees. But no, this season has quite literally gone to the birds. I mean, the Orioles have absolutely dominated, both pitching-wise and offensively, which nobody really saw coming. Lots of people recognize their offense as being pretty good, but frankly, I didn't think their pitching was quite up to scratch this year, and I really thought the Rays were going to be dominant. But of course, injuries have played quite heavily on lots of teams this season, especially the Red Sox and Rays who have around 20 men between them on the DL, which is really, really bad. So maybe it's just a bit of luck with the injuries going the Orioles' way. I don't know. Also, the Los Angeles Dodgers are doing fantastically well. They are storming the NL West, which I kind of saw coming, but kind of didn't. It was kind of a chance thing. I mean, last year they were just around the 500 mark, and now they're the first team to get 30 wins. And so... That is pretty impressive. I mean, Matt Kemp and Josh Hamilton going at it. Very impressive. Well, we're just about finished creating Roller Blade here. And, uh, you know, high socks because all the fastest players have high socks and the cornrows before. Uh, they're not cornrows, they're speed stripes. And I took a while deciding on a batting stance, but I finally settled on Dan Ogler's batting stance. I quite like the look of that. And now I'm just putting up those things, the attributes. I'm thinking about power, but I don't want to waste too much because he's definitely not a power guy. He's definitely a guy for speed and glove, and that's how he helps his team. He's also known for a decent average, but mostly known for his work in the field and on the base pads. So I'm just finishing up, putting the finishing touches on him, and we're about to put him into the draft at the young age of 18. Let's see who wants this young guy. And it's going to be the Houston Astros have decided to take Roller. As he's going to start off with the Corpus Christi Hooks in AA. Then Oklahoma City Redhawks in AAA. And hopefully make his way up to the MLB with the Astros. Challenging Jordan Schaefer as the current centre fielder of the Astros. Well he's going to step straight into the batting gauge. As the coach wants him to get the bat on the fastballs here. And put them fair, but not the breaking balls. Well, let's see how he's doing. He's not really showing up much batting potential as he's just chopping it into the dirt, really. But it's in play, which is all he really wants. As long as it's a fastball. See there, another chopper. But he does manage to succeed in the drill. So, the manager very pleased with him. And he's very pleased with himself. Uh, not many people expected that to happen. So Roller getting ready for opening day as he has been named as the starting centre fielder for the Hooks. They're going to be playing the Naturals on opening day 
As you can see here, the bottom three of the batting order for the hooks are all switch hitters, which is quite interesting. Rollerblade is batting ninth today, as you can see. And it's going to be a very interesting match to see how he can do. Not much expected of him, but if he can get on base, pitchers might have to be careful about watching him on the base pads. Well, Roller coming in for his first career at bat. Can he do anything with it? Well, he's got a runner on first, two outs in the bottom of the second inning. The first pitch, ooh, that's a very good pitch to hit if he recognized the cutter. And that, he could have driven that a long way. So he's kind of shaking his head. The next pitch right down the middle and he pulls it into left between the shortstop and third baseman and he is batting 1,000 to start the season. Uh, that's a very good start. A two pitch line drive single for Rollerblade as that's a very good way to start off his season. Well, let's see if the next hitter can do anything. Nope, he's just going to chop it into the dirt. The catcher's going to try and do something with it and he makes the play. So, Roller in the fifth inning trying to make his first play in the field. Let's see if he can do that. As you can see, it's a fairly routine fly ball going back on it. He's not going to make any errors as he's known for that glove as he runs back on it and makes the catch. So, Roller's having a good day right now. Uh, and now, he's stepping into his third at bat. I skipped the second one because it was pretty poor. A one pitch chopper into the dirt. Let's see if he can do anything here with runners in first and third with one out. The first pitch is a fastball. He takes it way high. As you can see, Roller's a pretty tall guy. Um, he's 6'4", I believe. So, there's a change up and he pulls it. But it's showing off a bit of power potential, but it goes foul. As you can see, not many people expected him to hit it that far. As you can see, he pulls that one into right, and that will get the runner home from third. And it is Roller's first RBI. So he's now two for three with an RBI today, so it's very successful opening day for Roller. As you can see, fastball on the outside, he gets full extension, pulls it in. And the manager's getting a lot of faith here in Roller Blade. So we're going to go into the seventh now. Let's see if he can do anything there. Two for three. Can he do anything more? We're about to find out. He's facing at no two count, so it's not very good here for Roller. He guesses down, and he guesses right. He sees the pitch below his knees and manages to hold up. So he guesses low again. He sees a changeup. He's going to hit it into center, and it's three for four day now for Roller. So he's going to get to first base again, as he's having a fantastic day at the plate. Three for four. Of course, that pitch almost right down the middle, and Roller just drives that to center. And it's been a very good day. Roller still missing his first home run and his first stolen base, but Roller knows he can get rid of one of those straight away. So on the very next pitch. He wastes no time and takes off. Is he going to make it? It's a very good throw from the catcher, but that speed is too much. As Roller's in there at second for his first ever stolen base professionally. So, 3-4 stolen base now. But that's all about the notable plays in the first game. He finishes very nicely. He's not the player of the game. The starting pitcher, Steve Leary for the Hooks, did very well. Almost pitched a complete game shutout. Gave up a one run in the ninth. But apart from that, it was a very good day, especially for Rollerblade. 3 for 4, an RBI, and a stolen base. So just missing a run, a walk, and a home run. But 80 points. Well, guys, that about does it. I'm Paddy D from Paddy D Gaming. And be sure to come back next time for more Rollerblade. Coming soon. I'm Paddy. And I'm out. See ya.